Today we're going to look at how to create a copy of the notification of absence form that Herrick is currently using that was talked about during the secretary's meetings. You'll all receive an email that looks very similar to the email on our screen. Basically, it's a copy of what Herrick is currently using. When we open it, we're going to notice that we are in a spreadsheet. You'll also see that it's view only at the current time. Basically, what Herrick has done is shared out a copy of what they're currently using. We're going to need to make a copy for each building, so as the secretary, I would make a copy for my building. I'm going to make a copy by going to the File menu and click Make a Copy. It will ask what I want to name this new document. I'm going to call this Kristen's Absence Form. You can call it whatever you'd like or your building's name. And then I'm going to click OK. You'll notice now at the top of my screen, I have a version of the copied or the view only file from Herrick. I now have my own personal absence form, which is the one I'm going to work from from this point forward. I'll close out the other one so we don't get confused. The first thing you're going to want to do once you've created your spreadsheet for your school is to edit the form. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is go to the form menu and edit the form. You'll notice here that Herrick is in the header of this form. I'll change this to my name or my school's name. I can double check that I want all of the information here. If I need to change anything, please do so. And then the next thing I'm going to do is click View Live Form. So now you'll notice that here's Kristen's notification of absence form. This link here at the top is the one that I'm going to want to send to my staff so that they can use this to fill it out. So what I would do is highlight it, copy, and paste it into any email or document that I'm going to be using or send to the principal and they'll be able to distribute this. So once again, I'm taking a copy of the Herrick absence form. I'm renaming it. I'm editing it so that I can add my name to the live form and then I'm going to the live form and I'm able to send it out. It's very quick and easy and when you follow the steps it will work seamlessly.